Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 85 of Don't Starve. Last time, things went down. Uh, we wanted the ruins. That was fun. Learned spool monkeys are a pain in the butt. Uh, the, what is it, the nightmare beaks. You gotta watch out for them, because they catch up to you and they just keep draining your sanity, so that's a problem. Uh, a lot of my rock lobsters, I think, followed me up to the surface. And I need to get rid I need to fix that. Um, yeah. We'll take them back down into the caves when we go next time. Uh, I'm just going to leave them on the surface. If I feed them now, I would have to go back to the caves. So what I want to do right now is get meat lined up. And I say that because, surprisingly, we went through a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of jerky doing that like the, uh, just that trip. Uh, we took we took a big stack. I think maybe 14, maybe 20. I don't remember exactly. We took all that with us, and we ended up using it all, or the vast majority of it. Sure, there is still some in the ice box down there. That's not going to last too much longer. And just yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of food if we're going to stay down there. I'm thinking of ways to have uh, like, like, uh, just food down there in general. Farms, they're an option. I mean, I'm probably missing something incredibly obvious. Farms are an option. I suppose I can plant berry bushes down there. Um, the only problem with farms is you always need seeds. Now, do I want to go make these guys fight spiders? I think I kind of want to make these guys fight spiders because we'll get a whole bunch of meat back. I just have to remember to pick up the meat that the spiders get so the spiders don't eat it. Uh, yeah, let's go see if we can get both monster meat and regular meat. Get a win-win out of this. And that'll solve our food problem for a while. But yeah, my, my intentions pretty much to colonize the uh, the ruins. It's going to be pretty difficult, but it's probably going to be a lot of fun. So I look forward to it. All right, you bastards, let's go. Come on, come on. Just just come through this net. net yeah, just come through here. Yeah, the webs and just screw their day up. Kill the freaking spider queen. You go smash ice so slow. The cark. Wow! One hit does 7% to this thing. That's kind of depressing. I was just, yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to let them kill her. Look at that. Oh, no! Don't eat the meat, you jerks! Oh. That, that's what I was worried about. They'll probably try and eat a whole bunch of the meat. Let's get this hat on. Okay. And now, of course, it's nighttime, so the pigs are, or not the pigs, these spiders are roaming around. I will heal myself a little bit. I don't know if they will break this nest. There's a few spiders that are going to spawn. I hope they don't break the nest. If they break the nest, whatever, we've got plenty. Oh, that's right, the, the other spiders are just going to keep coming. Well, let me see if I can bleed. Do everything I can to bleed. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, now all these spiders are going to be coming from down there. Just, just attack. Why, why did you eat the meat right away? Your brethren are dying. Give me that meat. You can always use the monster meat to turn more pigs into our allies. This is a mission with purpose. No. <laughs> what? Uh, hold space bar. Uh, the pigs have definitely lost this one, guys. I could assist them. Oh my god, so many pigs. Uh, they, they, uh, they're eating the meat right away. So I'm probably not going to get a lot of meat out of this, if any. But you know what? It came out on top when it comes down to monster meat. Which we can always convert into big meat. So that's a win in my book. It's not an instant win. It's not a win right now. But it's a win for later. And I know we're getting awfully close to the spiders, but when the pigs were uh, taking the aggro, I didn't really have to worry about it. So cool. We got a bunch of monster meat. Could have gotten more. Could have done better. Uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Let's see here. Where did my log suit go? You guys, you guys done? You guys are done. Okay. Well, we got some extra monster meat, I think. <laughs> I don't know. We ha What we have to do, I have to split up those spider nests. They're too close. There's, there's no uh, no doubt about it. We're just messing up left and right. I'll be honest with you. Not doing hot. I will follow this down because that is absolutely what I need. And yes, I know I'm wearing this hat still. It's fine. It's a few night here any second. Let's go get some meat out of this. This will make up for that. 
I know the, I know the rabbit traps are still here. They've been here since day one. That's all right. What might be of benefit is putting a whole bunch of um, traps by those uh, the spider area. So say I have some pigs going down there to fight them, and they all come rushing up towards the pigs. Well, half the army just got trapped, so that could also be worth it. Uh, so many plans. I haven't been up here in a long time. It's taking me far away from home. This is the graveyard. Ooh, there's rocks. Oh, wah, Wilson. Wah. Uh, let's throw that down. Get toasty. And it should just be like right here. Where's that dirt pile? Oh boy. That's what I was afraid of. Let's go back to the previous tra track. It's this way. Don't want to lose this. I want the beat. Okay. Okay, so it's up there. We need to get a little bit more warm. That's not enough. So Chester, come here, buddy. Come closer to the fire. Put some stuff on you. I'm not gonna get any more logs. I don't want the spider head. And the problem when I'm looting all that stuff is like my inventory fills up. You're not hungry. You're fine. There's stuff at home. We'll get it in a minute. Calm down. I will take this flint, and we need to go up here. Where, oh where, is the koala fintat? Shut up, turkey! Oh, you bastard. Okay. It's a regular qualifant, so it is no longer winter. And we can corner you over here. So go this way. Joke, you're almost there. And we should be fine. One, two, three, four. Or I can get five. Two, three, four, five. Well, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> Now Wilson's belly is no longer of concern. We can go put this uh, qualifant trunk on a fire and pretty much just alleviate everything. Or we could go eat the uh, honey ham we have at home. That's also a possibility. But let's just make use of this now. Go away, turkey. Go away. You ate my berries. Somehow I think that fire's already gone out, but we can go home. Nice, nice regular axe that I'll never use. Because gold tools! Oh, oh, it's alive! Ah! Alright, we're good. Let's cook this up real quick. Let's see how much this f fills me up. 37 to 112. Nice! Let's get all these stones, because we're going to make fire pits. We're going to need hammers for all that full sight. And let's head back home. Also, we're going to need a whole bunch of stuff for bait for the rock lobsters that we need to take back down into the caves. Ah! Uh, that sucks. That truly, truly sucks. I can't believe that happened. I guess I can. I don't want to believe it happened. Not sure I'm digging the uh, marble suit, though. The That movement speed penalty for... It may be a bigger damage reduction, but how slow it made me? That was that was ridiculous. Like, I couldn't kite at all. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I'm liking the log suit still. So let's put this in here before it even thinks of going bad. Let's put this in here. Now you know what? Let's go get monster jerky and swap them. This monster jerky will last a while. And here's what we could be doing down in the caves. But the problem with farms, I think, are the seeds. We're not going to be getting seeds too often down there. Uh, we need to get, what, 11? Yeah, 11. I may just relocate some of these berry bushes down there. There's plenty of guano. Uh, the only thing I would have to worry about are the spill monkeys picking them. But that's not really an issue. I mean, as long as they keep them away, we're fine. And that's a great source of food over time. So, you know what? I think we're going to relocate some berry bushes. There's a whole lot of things I need to do down here. I'm sorry, guys. We could be exploring it and just running through it. But I kind of want to go about it and be able to just, you know, do it right. I guess, so to speak. I guess it's not really doing it right. There's plenty of ways to do it. Whatever. I'm doing it my way. <laughs> I'm doing it the prepared way. And we need to fill up Wilson's belly. He's still pretty hungry. He's needy. Wow, all that stuff turned into jerky already. Darn. Let's eat this. Because it's going bad. Okay. Rocks. Put you in here. Uh, logs. Okay, Chester. Let's put this in here. You know what? Let's take everything out of you. I have a spot for the rocks in here. I'll put the extra six logs in there. 
silk. We need to clear our inventory. We need to go down uh, back to the caves, ready to go. Now this this I can use as fuel. This I can also use as fuel. That's cool. Ooh, before I forget, charcoal, because that'll make us drying racks. Uh, what I might as well do is it two or three. Three. Okay. Well, let's do this. And take, I think, two? Is it one or two? Or one or two. two. So now we have a drying rack in our, our thing, like, ready to go. Uh, I will take these grass thingies, the grass piles. And here's why I hoard resources. Look at those guys. We're using them. Sure, there's still plenty there. But when I come up with these crazy ideas, I, I love to have that excess. Let's get our shovel. We're going to pick up... Oh, how many berry bushes do you think we should bring? How much is too much? Hmm. I kind of want to just bring 20. Two stacks. Because I don't think 10 is going to be enough. And why bring half a, half a stack? Because they only stack up to 10. Or I could just bring all these if there's not 20. Whatever. Let's go for it. We'll get some berries out of this, I think. Yep. Good. And... This is just going to be straight survival food. Heck, there's going to be bats to those monkeys drop poop when they die. It's That's going to work out really well, I think. I am digging this idea. Well, there goes our shovel. I was expecting that. Had to make a new one. It's been a while. I need to put these gears away before I forget. You know what? We're going to put it on you because we're going to make another ice box. Uh, my tentacle spikes at 29%. I may consider bringing another one of those as well. I could pick one up in the swamp on my way there if I remember. Yeah, see? The, the stack of 10, eh. We'll just bring 20. That'll be fine. We're gonna have so many berries, I'm not gonna know what to do with them all. Oh my. Sanity is good. Uh, I, wanna, I kinda wanna use that honey ham. I have no idea how good honey ham is. I don't think it's anywhere near the jerky level. But that's 20. No point in picking up any more. I don't need to bring another stack of that. Uh, we will give you these berry bushes. I will, I guess, just eat these berries over time. Put away the thermal stone because it is no longer winter. So many pitchforks everywhere. What else is new? Uh, okay. Thermal stone. You have found a new home here. It's going to be dark any second. We shall use some beard hair. We shall also do some manscaping of the facial variety. Not the manscaping you were probably thinking of. Alright, just go over here and do it so we can pick up all of our stuff. Ah, Wilson. It's been a while since you shaved, hasn't it? Pick up the beard hair here. And 18 beard hair, so plenty of fuel. That's mad efficient. Look at that. How many was that, like three or four? Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to be bringing down into the caves with us is probably going to be the stack of meat. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four. And let's pick up four of these. Shut up, spiders. We'll deal with you later. I put way too many in one area. And we will be taking a stack of 20 meat down with us. I'll leave that all in here for now while we work our, our inventory. Uh, the gold for sure, this for sure. I definitely want to put pine cones down there. Band-aids always save our butt. Uh, we're going to need to get some light bulbs. That's to be expected. Rot. Well, let's just put you in this chest. And you know what's an inventory saver that I just realized? Take 12 of you. Oops. And can I just make one on me? Well, we'll take that down as well. So we already have uh, a fire pit ready to go and a drying rack. We'll make that. Shit. I'm just going to make it all and get ready to plop it down when we go there. Um, Chester, that's a good idea. Chester, you got a gear on you? I think it was one gear. Sure. All right. Ice box. And there's the farms. I don't... <laughs> I wonder if we can put a bee box down there. I have no idea if that would work. But we're going to be good when it comes down to these berries, I think. Uh, it's also a good idea. Is, where's that guano? Is, did I leave it in here? I left it up here somewhere, right? Up oh, there it is. Oh, my dookie. Well, we only need 20. Chester, open your mouth. Mm. We don't need the gears anymore. Where, where did I have those stored? I just, just opened it. Okay, here. So now, now we already have... 
a whole bunch of stuff made. Uh, I don't know if... I, I do want to make pigs, because pigs being down there are going to really help. But I think we should get this infrastructure set up. The berries get the farm going. We'll bring a pitchfork. What may even end up being a smart idea is bringing some kind of surface turf that I know is compatible with both berry bushes and trees and stuff. Uh, where's an area I don't typically visit that I really don't care about? I don't want to make it too ugly around my base. Up here. Let's go get some, you know, like grass turf. I I'm sure the turf down there will suffice, but to be 100% sure, eh, why not? Uh, okay, there's some rot. No. This turf is a little bit dark, but it'll work. It's all the same stuff. Now I'm probably gonna get shocked. Oh, how to attack. Oh, we're in the perfect area. <laughs> and there's even a lightning rod waiting for us. We'll take that rod. And we will add the fuel. I'm going to add it all because it's not going to last too long with the rain. And I'll say five. It's probably too many. And we'll fill for belly. Eh, pretty much perfect. One more and we would have been technically over. Let's kill these hounds. Hey, hounds. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, God. You're not dying! Tooth traps, do your thing! Oop. 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 Okay, now we're good. Now we run through all of them. Coming through the tooth trap farm. Need to add more tooth traps. I need more death. Ouch. Don't burn me. Okay. I care less about the ash. I can always get ash if I need it. But there we go. Dealt with that hound attack. Don't want to forget the reason I came up here, and that is turf. So let's, of course, pick up the monster meat and the hound's teeth. Because we will always need to replenish our tooth traps. These guys are breaking our stuffs. Hound's tooth, red gem, sure. Uh, almost done with these. Perfect timing for the hound attack. So that way when we go over to the caves, we probably won't have to worry about them. That would suck if I was getting everything ready. And then suddenly hound attack. Three more tooth traps I need to reset. Just make sure I get them all. Yeah, somebody did tell me that it was like every two seconds tile entities in in this game. Oops. Uh, the, they like read to see what's over them, so the tooth traps they don't instantly go off whenever a monster goes over them. And of course, you've seen that a hundred times. But I mean, it does make sense. So you have to kind of keep cutting them over and over. All right, let's go get that turf we were talking about. I'm just gonna grab it closer to where the uh, the dead area already is. Like this area, so it just kind of blends in. Uh, hey, look, a tree guard. I don't remember there being a tree guard. Oh, wait. There's really lush green stuff here. You know what? We're using that. It's all luscious and, and lively and stuff. Let's use that turf. I know I said it doesn't really matter, but... Hey, man. I got it here. I'm gonna pick it up. Don't care. Alright. How much should we get there? Like, four or five? How much do we think we how much do you think we're gonna need? Mm. Of course it only stacks to ten. Why don't we just get two stacks? It's not gonna take long at all. We're already almost done. Let's get two stacks. Hey, random spider queen head that we dropped on our way up here. <laughs> Alright, so it's summer, so now there's no more walrus. So we do have to be careful with our Tembo Shanter. Do not want to let that break. Do not let me break. Do not let it break, guys! If it's breaking, scream at me. I will not be able to hear you, but scream at me. Go away, birds. That's my seeds that I don't need. I only need to get seven of these. Almost done. Almost. Go away, bird. Those are my seeds. Again, that I don't need. I think the... Oh, bird! 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 Well... I tried. <laughs> I was going to go eat it just to be a jerk. You know, let's test something. He's not aggro to me, but I don't know if this will work. Well, it worked. <laughs> you can plant the pine cones to make them... I knew, I knew that that worked. Uh, planting the pine cones to make them just, like calm down, stop you know, walking around. But I didn't know if it would work if they weren't aggro to you. Now we know. Cool. So, we have all of the berry bushes that we're going to need for food. We have all the turf that we would need. We have a pitchfork for removing that turf. We have a whole bunch of things already pre-built. That's amazing. Uh, I still would like to have some pigs down there. Why not? 
it's just backup for me. It's they're just there to help me. So I'm kind of liking that idea. Chester, you can have these. You got a lot of my building re materials on you. What else did you have? You took yeah, something else. Oh, the charcoal, of course. Was it two charcoal? It was. Let's give you one more to even it out. Assuming I have any left. I think I used it all. Oh, nope. I'm crazy. Let's just take one. Give you that. And you know what? Because we're going to... How many twigs to use? Three. Well, let's take our twigs out of here. I'm going to give you these ropes because we're going to burn through them. Twigs. Uh, sure. Let's take them. Cool. And you guys laughed at me for hoarding resources. For shame. Um, <laughs> eat these berries. It's going to ignite any second. That's not what I want to pick up. Add one of those. Put that down on the ground. Uh, did I, I did. I put guano on Chester because we're going to use that to fertilize the stuff. So we have the infrastructure. The only thing we're missing is the pigs, which... Let me take my hammer. I think, if we're lucky, we'll get enough resources just from the pig houses that are down in the caves, if we break them all, that we can go, uh... Excuse me, we can go add at least a few houses in the caves. And I am... Strongly... Oh, yep, I'm strongly considering this. Let's bring one more of these. Put it on Chester. He's gonna be our, our mule for now. Don't have as many logs as I would like in that chest, but we should be ready to go. House teeth, stingers, do do. Tell you what, stingers here. Hound's teeth, this chest. Voila, pick some stuff off the ground. Uh, and is a not a full moon. That is amazing. So we're not going to have to worry about the pigs. Do you think the pigs have spawned by now? Hmm. I don't think we're going to mess with them. Let's head down to the caves again. So we need to go pick up a few light bulbs when we enter. Do not let me forget. Oh god, all this is going bad. I need to make a read run just to make use, use of it. Sure, it's really easy to get, but I don't want to let it all go bad. It's going to be too much rot for me to deal with. Let's take our stack of food. And hopefully uh, things go well. My inventory is quite full, but I would like to keep as much of it except for these glands. Damn it. What was something I missed. How dare you guys let me do that? I will heal with these two glands for no reason. Alright. We want to bring the... the rock lobster with me. I almost forgot. So, I'm about to use gold because it's 100% renewable and I've got too much of it. It's easier. It's easy. It is actually. You know what? It's easier to obtain than rocks. I'll be 100% honest with you. The only way we can get that is mining and cave-ins. Gold's renewable and vanilla, uh, well, retardedly renewable. I'm going to bring all that gold. You probably think I'm crazy, and I don't blame you, but we're bringing it. So, find rock lobsters. Hit up this portal. Hopefully, bring oh wormhole. Hopefully, bring a boatload of them with me. Are there any rock lobsters? Yes, there are. Look at all those rotten eggs we've got about. Kind of bummed out we still have not gotten a deer clops. You know, kind of scared to fight him, but... I don't seem to feed this guy. But definitely want to eventually. Oh my god. There's so many of them. It's like they just had babbies. They reproduced. They, they, they've just stolen the pig houses. They're like, no, this is mine. He's twitching. I didn't know rock lobsters could get... Oh. Oh god. I didn't know rock lobsters could get like that. I think they could do drugs. I think I really worked on them. The rocks. Alright. We're almost got all these guys. All this gold that sadly I can afford to spend <laughs> because freaking meat. Man. All that meat just turned into gold. Oh man. That's 20 right there. Are there any more obvious ones I've missed? I think I need to hurry up before they just don't teleport with me. Let's run over to the uh, portal. Oh god, they're all stuck too. They're gonna walk through that and destroy. Destroy everything! Chester, get out of there! Chester!
Come on, quick! We'll fill that stack up. That's the stack I always keep in my inventory for tools. Shut up, B. We're doing important stuff. All right. Let's see what happens. I hear the pitter patter of footsteps, and I actually want to hear those those footsteps right now. So that is good. And I did say I was going to pick up another tentacle spike. Please, please be a not broken one. All right. Not sure how this marble suit's gonna work out for me. I'll be 100% honest. Bring you guys. There should be a whole boatload up here, like a whole another party. I wonder if there's a follower limit. That may have been what happened to me. I had too many with me and they all just kind of stopped following. I'd believe it. You and you. Oh my good god, we're going to have to... We've, we've gotten more than 40 following us right now. Oh my god! I never should have brought them to the surface. Uh, why did I do this? Why? Oh my god, they just... They're, they're, they're never ending. We're, we're at 40 something. Close to the. F oh my god. Am I even going to be able to get into the cave? <laughs> uh, how many people do you know have that many rock lobsters following them? Probably. Probably not many. Please follow me into the caves. Stay off the surface. Uh, uh, they, they're they just kind of floating down there. They're, what, what? Rock lobsters can levitate? I'm not going to blame them. There's just too many on screen. I'm not going to blame the game for that one. That's me. Alright, you guys just come over here, please. It, uh, it kind of felt like the game chopped right there, to be honest with you, which is really weird. This game just never has performance issues. I'm assuming that's because I'm literally breaking the game. <laughs> Uh, you messed up, Depth Worm. You attacked the wrong Rock Lobster. Because any Rock Lobster that's near me has about 40 other Rock Lobsters that are near him. <laughs> I will bring a whole boatload of these. I would like to avoid that hit. There we go. No, okay, you know what? You're a jerk. Rock Lobsters. Rock Lobsters, I can hear your pitter-patter a little feet. I cannot wait for you to destroy them. I just need to take. I think I need to just make a straight run right over to uh, cave entrance with these guys because they're gonna stop following me, and that just wastes my gold. Uh, oh well. Ah, that really fucking hurt. I saw that coming. Oh, well, I can't go that way. I'll be able to heal. No problem. Okay. The problem is the conga line. Is that is that I actually get funneled. <laughs> you never thought you'd have too many allies to the point where, uh, yeah, it's bad for you. You guys can go destroy things. I will let you mess their day up. I will get that gold. I will take this light flower. And I think... Are you... Are you attack, see? Yep, we've lost quite a few. Attack. Attack. I think we'll take what we have. Uh, no, you know what? What we need to do is dedicate a pure run to making them follow me down to the caves. So we're going to continue working on the, uh, the pigs here, and then we're going to take them down into the caves. We're going to make our make our base, then we'll come back up and bring rock lobsters to defend me. I mean, I think that's a good idea. So, do I have the ability to? Uh, no, I need to heal a little bit. Let's eat one jerky. Okay. I can break all these houses down, but do I have the stuff in my, uh, my storage? So we're going to get pig skin. We're going to get a few things. So let me get my hammer on. Where'd my hammer go? It's actually kind of good that we had the rock lobster with me, because I'm going to want them to kill the pig. I'm sorry, pig. I'm sorry, pig. I'm the worst kind of person. No, no, no. Kill him. Oh, shit, son. Not me. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> I need to give this stuff to Chester. Uh, here you go, buddy. Oh, your inventory's full. Tell you what. 
That's an inventory stack. I'm just going to eat these berries. I'm going to show up numb on them. And as long as I can pull this stuff, I should be good. Because we're going to need all of this to make pig houses. Our inventory is going to be mad full. But I think as long as we get down there, we should be good. I didn't mean to attack you on my own. That's, that's going to be my downfall. It's me accidentally attacking these pigs. I try to hit control, but I'm too close to them. So my guy attacks them. I'm trying to just sick the uh, rock lobsters on him. So let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> He's staying near me because I have my hat, but I am killing him. I, I'm sorry. I'm mean. Oh, up! Oh, now you fucked up. Now you done. Now you done goofed. You're done. <laughs> uh, all the pigs that may be trying to help the brethren. Let's take this. Walking cane, so we broke our hammer. I think we should take what we have right now and work with it because these are at their maximum stacks. Oh man, we're in a roll. Now we have some meat to hang up on the drying racks. There you go. We're uh, we're cooking with gas now. We're we're, we're doing we're, we're we're getting places. Uh, look, they're migrating again. Why do they always seem to migrate? Where do they go? Where? What? What is the home of the rock lobster? Rock lobster, tell me your ways. I don't know, they always seem to walk down here. Hmm. Weird. Well, now we know where to go if we want to pick up a whole bunch of them. <laughs> but I think what we'll do is once we set up our camp down here, we'll just relocate a boatload of rock lobsters down into the caves. I don't think they can come back up. I mean, I think when they're in an area, they're stuck in an area. And we'll let them roam around down there. But they'll just be a natural defense if something attacks me. Uh when they're following me, they'll defend it, or defend me. And of course, if one thing attacks a rock lobster, well, every rock lobster attacks whatever that thing was. And see, look, our trees grew. That's what I wanted to have happen. Look at that, that is life. <laughs> I'm getting all poetic. Now, uh, let's, let's go down in the ruins, and we will have to wrap it up. Kind of time flew by in this episode, I, I hate to say. Should we? And chest, you have a ton of rocks. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to take them. And let me just avoid the rocks that are falling here. And that's what's going to happen if something attacks one rock lobster. They all get mad. Jester, no! Oh, well, I forget it. I'll take this rock, because I can. Ouch. Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay. Let's go down in the ruins, and we'll have to wrap it up, guys. Woo-wee. We've been busy this episode. Oh, hey, look. There's some here. Ugh, the nightmare cycle. Not to my favorite. Cave worms, I hear you. Uh, I think it's a smart idea to set up the base camp just pretty much near this exit. It's not near any spawners. It's uh, away from the spelunkies. It's blue monkeys. It's away from those spiders. I think it's a good spot to do it. Cave worms are always a thing, but rock lobsters don't put up with no cave worms. Guys, we're going to wrap the episode up here episode, I believe, 85. Things went down. A lot of, uh, just, yeah. Uh, please attack him. They would. A, lo <laughs> a lot of, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? Preparation. We have a whole bunch of stuff ready to just, you know, place down and make a base. No point in, you know, doing the walls. That's not going to gain me anything. Uh, there's nothing really that's going to run in here. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is using the millions of uh, hounds teeth I have that I don't need to make the traps. I'm going to wait till I kill these guys to wrap up the episode, because the last thing I want to do is when I come back is deal with them. Uh, they're almost done. I don't fly, I don't like fighting the death worms. They hurt. And they they always come up to hit you. And I can only get like one hit in. I usually get hit myself. Oh man. They're everywhere. Come on. Now nah, there's a cave in. Well, I'll take this. No food for you. Did they all die? Oh. Oops. <laughs> Nope. That hurt. Quite a bit. We're gonna need a whole lot more band-aids, guys. Jeez. Jeez. Kill that depth worm. Show him his boss. Kick his butt. Did they kill any rock lobster? Or is that just stuff from the uh I think that's just stuff from the gave in. Alright. Alright, we're good. Everything's dead, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.